Hi there. I've previously reviewed the Harry Bosch series of books written by Michael Connolly and uh, today I'm going to uh, review another one of his books um, because he has done uh, several characters uh, over the years. So you've got the Harry Bosch which has numerous books uh, he also created Mickey Haller, the Lincoln lawyer, who it turns out is the stepbrother of, of Harry Bosch. And then more recently, Renee Ballard, uh, a female detective with LAPD. And there's been crossovers with Bosch and Haller and with Renee uh, in some of the, some of the uh, previous books. Uh, and it's tended to work very, very well. So uh, today's book, The Dark Hours, is uh, uh, about Renee. So she, uh, her background is she was on the elite robbery homicide division. She lays a charge of sexual misconduct against her uh, lieutenant. And uh, in typical... Um, police fashion it's found that uh, she's the one at fault and she's demoted to Hollywood working uh, what's called the late show um, the the nighttime shift uh, as a detective she um, earlier on was living on the beach and where she liked to surf and she she had her dog and that was her life um, Mainly due to the Chinese virus, she's had to um, move to an apartment. Her dog has died, but uh, she's in the process of looking for another one. And the book opens a uh, new year and LAPD is on tactical alert and everybody's out uh, in uniform. Um, the shots going off, uh, people are celebrating by firing um, gunshots into the sky as well as at each other um, and she's uh, uh, parked up waiting for something to happen and she gets a call to, um, to a death uh, which looks like it's an accident, turns out it's homicide. <laughs> And investigating this, she finds a link to a previous uh, murder, which had been uh, handled by Harry Bosch, who's now retired from LAPD. And he sued LAPD uh, and uh, is out of favour with them. So she links up with Harry. She's worked with him before in, in previous books. And um, uh, under the radar, she's using him... Um, to pursue this murder case. Um, concurrently, she had already been assigned to a task force um, investigating a series of uh, rapes uh, committed by two men. Uh, so th this serial um, sexual assault had been going on and um, that's the other main strand of the book. And the book is really well plotted. It's very believable. Um, so some books, um, the plots, you know, I would take the James Bond books, for example, the plots are very, very far-fetched. And in other books, the, the plots are very mundane, um, you know, everyday life type of thing. And so it's, it's it, um, the job of a writer, really, to create believable plots that are also very, very exciting. And there's a lot of tension um, in, in uh, parts of the book where uh, there's a lot of peril involved. I, I won't give away uh, the actual plot. But um, it, it, it works very, very well. And um, one of the things that Michael Connolly does, he was previously uh, a police uh, or crime reporter. Um, so he, he knows uh, where he speaks very, very well. And one of the things he does is he puts a lot of L.A. in his books and it comments about the culture of L.A. and, and, and so on. And uh, one of the things he, he mentions early on in the, the book is the massive homeless problem in L.A., um, which 
is a reason why many people are leaving Ella. Uh, he also, there's a lot of people who can write very good police procedural books. Uh, I would say John Sanford, for example. But um, I don't think anyone has matched the, um, the expertise he has on writing about LA, uh, LAPD. And Michael Connolly really, really um, understands the culture. He understands the... Uh, policies uh, when you you read some of the things and you think why why did he do it that way it seems censored it's the policy and um, it's in, in many cases very restrictive um, the um, the rivalries within different departments um, the senior officers whose man management skills are absolutely horrendous and um, he also uh, understands and portrays the um, interface between LAPD, the criminal justice system with the lawyers, uh, politics and the media. Uh, the Bush books um, were made into a TV series, which was very enjoyable. It was one of my favorites. It's come to an end. But I understand there's going to be a spin-off um, with, with the same um, characters in it, which will be eagerly anticipated, uh, as are any of Michael Connolly's books. I always enjoy um, when a new one's announced, particularly uh, the ones that uh, have the crossovers between the characters I've already mentioned.